Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss the topic of 7 nanometer FinFit layout. Let's start the video. So up to 28 nanometer technology, we used to call the devices as a PMOS and NMOS, but now here in FinFit, so we used to call the device as a PFET and NFET. So if it is a PMOS, it can be called as a PFET and the NMOS devices are called as a NFET devices. So now here we have a PFET and NFET. So now we are going to see the internal structures of the PFET and NFET. So now here it's a PFET and NFET. So in right side we have a LSW window. So in the LSW window, we have a multiple layers are there in FinFit. So it's a PFET, so it's a NFET. So in PMOS is right. So all the structures and all the layers are same in PMOS and NMOS. Only we will get extra only one layer called NVEL layer that is only used for PMOS. So now we are going to see each and every layers individually what is there in PFET and what is there in NFET. So now particularly I am taking only PMOS, I will delete those NMOS. So now I will disable all the internal layers. So one by one we will see the layers and FinFit functionalities. So now we have a first layer called Rx layer. So this Rx layer in lower technology nodes we used to call it as a Rx layer. In higher technology nodes the same layer we used to call it as a OD. This is just a oxide diffusion layer like a substrate. And second we have a Rx fin. So we know it's a fin fit technology. So how many fins are occupied by the oxide layer? So this is the fin numbers of the device. So for example in our structure, so two fins are occupied totally from the OD. So now totally in our structure, two fins are occupied by the OD. So this is two fin device. Okay, so it's a two fin device. So the red color layer is occupied by two fins. So then the next layer, it's a NVEL layer. So usually it's a PMOS. So we need NVEL because PMOS, the local substrate of the PMOS is a NVEL layer. So it's just a yellow color highlighted lines are there. It's a NVEL layer. And then we have a FC layer that is called fin cut layer. This FC layer usually used to cut the OD. So wherever we don't want the OD left and right side, we need to disconnect the OD from the fabrication. So in particularly wherever we don't want OD to to not fabricate the OD, we need to place the FC layer that is called fin cut layer and another layer is a PC layer. So usually PC layer is a poly layer. So in higher technology nodes, we used to call the same layer as a poly layer, which means PO layer. So now here in lower technology in FinFit, the device name is a FinFit. So the PC is called poly and then we have a PB. PB is a thick poly. So how we have a supporting poly? So how we have a supporting poly layers in 28 nanometer technology, same this is a thick poly for supporting purpose. So actually in our structure only one poly is active poly so which means which poly is a middle so that is active poly. So left and right we have a six totally six dummy poly and then we have a thick poly layer also to support. And then we have a CT layer. So CT layer is generally used to do cut the poly so first i will disable other layers so easily we can identify so now we can easily see those layers so right i have removed that thick poly also so then now see no ct now it's a ct so ct layer is used to, to disconnect the poly so wherever the ct layers are there in that particular area poly will not be fabricated because in fin fit poly will be uniformly fabricated in everywhere so poly will be fab all the polys will be fabricated in the same time so now one next layer is called CA layer. So CA layer is just a implantation layer. So wherever we need a source and drain implantation, which means N plus implantation or P plus implantation. So we need source and drain implantation. So CA layer is used to do, to do the implantation purpose. So then, so we'll go for a CM layer. So CM layer is a one more layer is used to active source and drain area so wherever we need a active source and drain area so now you can see one yellow color line okay now it's a violet color line is there so this is a active source and drain okay so wherever it's a active source and drain we need to differentiate those dummy drain and active drain okay and as well as active source so this yellow so this violet color lines is used to do do the proper implantation in the active source and drain area 
okay so from here to here six poly is a dummy poly from here to here six poly is a dummy poly so in between we have a single poly layer so this single poly is active poly so next left and right to the single active poly we have a source and drain okay so this ca cm layer is used to implant the active source and drain then again so just we'll zo zoom and see one more time so these are all the layers so middle layer is active poly layer and then it's a m1 layer sorry via layer so v0 via is the basic via to give the proper to take the proper connection from the source and drain to metal ones so this blue color metal is a metal one layer then we have a next layer is a aux pc so this aux pc is a auxiliary pc so wherever we need to differentiate which one is the active poly and which one is the not active poly so now you can easily see so the blue color lines are differentiate active poly and dummy poly so in between we have a single active poly so left and right we have totally six dummy poly so we need to differentiate which one is the active poly which one is the dummy poly so this aux pc is the auxiliary pc layer to differentiate to dummy poly layers just for a differentiate purpose to the tool at the time of fabrication this layer will use and then second we have a p plus implantation so usually it's a p plus implantation we need in a p mass and then we have one more layer called alpha layer so these alpha layers and all it's not visible layers and one more layer is there it's called aux pc4 layer just i'll disable other layers so easily we can see what is the purpose of aux pc4 layer so aux pc4 layer is also used to do differentiate the dummy poly layers so wherever the dummy polys are there which means we can call it as axillary poly dummy poly supporting poly so this aux pc4 layer is used to do to do some shielding purpose from the substrate to poly so this is this is used to do this is used to generally so this is generally used to differentiate the dummy poly layers to do some kind of isolation techniques in dummy poly so particularly fabrication wise we don't know the exact operation of this just a layer so i'll disable all the layers and i'll show you what is mean by flrq layer so now flt rq layer is there. one more last layer is there it's a flt rx2 layer so this flt rx2 layer is also used to, to differentiate the dummy poly left and right we have uh, as we said right it's totally six dummy polys are there so we need to differentiate the dummy poly to the foundry okay so this layer last layer flt rx2 layer it's a green color layer it's above just above to the od and underneath of the poly so in between poly to substrate it can act as a some kind of isolation layer will prevent some gate capacitance or coupling capacitance between the substrate to gate so these are all the general layers present in the fin fit so same layer will be applicable for n mass also but n mass will not have that n well layer so without n well layer all the layers are same in n mass so this is a general fin fit layer it's a 7 nanometer fin fit even in 5 nanometer also the structure wise everything is same the layer wise is everything is same so i just want to to show you what is the layer is there in a fin fit so this is a just a figure of the fin fit so this is how fin fit layout will be there at the time of doing layout I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email id and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.